it's your city, your team, we're still Premier League. Let's hear so, hello again everybody, and what about that yesterday, what a fantastic performance by the lads, what a fantastic uh, performance by you, the supporters, absolutely amazing, and um, we move on now, everything moves on, that's football, it's another three points in the bag, we're second top of the league, on merit, we're equal with goals scored, if we can get the goals against Colum a wee bit done, even better, but fantastic. And on we go now, we we'll go up the road to Stoke City, another test, a big test because they are down the bottom of the league and they are desperately needing points. But what we've got to do, we've got to keep this run going. And the first question for you is, would you settle for a draw? I think the way that we're playing, we're going to go there and attack and we're going to go and try and win the game, which I think we're totally capable of. Whether we come away with a point or not, we're going to accept, I, I, I think. But I know a lot of you will be thinking now, what is Mr Ranieri going to do with the team? Is he going to change it? Well, here's my thoughts on it. Obviously, I've, well, I've got the team sheet for yesterday to give me a hand. You know, the old brain cells are getting on of it. But obviously, Casper and goals, he'll not be happy. He never had a great deal to do, apart from picking two balls out of the net. For two tremendous strikes, I should say. So, Casper, I think the back four will stay intact. I think Richie, um, Wes, Robert Huth and, uh, and Jeff, who came on to a great game in the second half, I thought. Not so much in the first, but in the second half. I think the back four will stay intact. It's maybe in midfield and up front, there might be a few wee changes. Now, Okazaki has been to the moon and back recently, you know, and he's travelling and play, playing for Japan. And I think he looked a wee bit tired. Um, but I also think he suffered for a wee bit of lack of service in playing between the lines, the back four and the midfield four. So whether he keeps his place or not, that's a wee bit of an uncertainty. I think one who's certain to start is Danny Drinkwater, who I thought was absolutely magnificent yesterday, all over the pitch. And when he was joined by Kante, the two of them were like a couple of little terriers going at people, you know, closing them from the back and closing them from the front, front winning possession, starting an attack. Wonderful. Mr. Isler is a good player. He's a very good player. You can see that. He's got quality. But as with Mr. Cambiasso at the start of the season that he came, it took him a few games, A, to get his fitness level up to the Premiership standard and to get used to the pace of the game. And I think Inler, Mr. Inler is going to... Um, did I call him Isler a minute ago? I think I did. Mr. Inler is going to have to wait, wait his chance. Um, Mark Albrighton, I think, will keep his place, as will Ryan Marez. Up front, Jamie's an absolute shoot-in starter. Who's going to play with him, though? Is it going to be Big Joe again, who came on and was pretty effective? Big lad looked quite fit for having been off the, out of the game for a wee while. But I think Kramaric, another runner, he might get a game on, on a Saturday. He might start Saturday. But here's a big one, Nathan Dyer. What do you reckon? Should he start? Or should he be that impact player from the bench? I mean, his influence on the game yesterday was incredible. Absolutely incredible. The pace, the willingness to run in between players, to run behind players, to take players on, to chase back. The guy had an absolute... And the bravery with his header for the goal. Mind you, the goalkeeper had an absolute stinker for that. By the way. What's he coming there for? Trying to punch it away from his knees. But the wee fella stuck it in the back of the net. Will he get a start? I'm not so sure. I think uh, the tinker man, <laughs> I, think, I think Mr. Ranieri will stick with pretty much the same because he knows now, well, I think he probably knew anyway, that if things aren't going quite the way that he hoped or planned, then he's got such an influence on, on the... On the, on the substitutes bench to bring on and affect the game as happened yesterday. A fully deserved 3 2 win. We move on again. Stoke City away. Unfortunately, I'm travelling to Southampton to take my lad to, to, to university, start university. But we'll be listening in, that's for sure. We'll be going somewhere that's streaming the game, for sure. But um, another thing that we're going to be sure of is you lot are going to be there in the thousands. 
and we need you. But there you go. On we go to Saturday. What do you think the team's going to be? Who do you think will play? Who do you, th- who do you think you should maybe leave out? Who was your man of the match yesterday? You can tell us all that. Join us on 100% LCFC. You'll get all the details at the bottom of this. Give us a call or get in touch and let us know. See ya. Brilliant, well done. That was spot on.